Okay guys, so before you think the law of attraction doesn't work for you, I've got a tip. So listen, listen to this. Um, this is why you think the law of attraction does not work for you. It is because of something called your point of attraction. And your point of attraction is different and unique from anybody else's. And the reason for this is because it's based on three different factors. Uh, the first one is going to be that it's based on your childhood programming, your beliefs, um, on a certain subject, everything from birth until now, essentially, your subconscious programming and your patterns. So that's going to be different than anybody else, right? So then your second thing that it's based on is going to be your momentum on a specific subject. So let's take relationships, for instance. Maybe you've got an excellent momentum on relationships because you have only had wonderful, beautiful relationships, but with money, you grew up without any money and you always heard your parents saying, money doesn't grow on trees and things like that. And you just always had this sense of lack when it came to the subject of money and success. So that one is going to be, um, there's gonna be an energetic block in that area and you're gonna have a slow or really, bad momentum going on in the area of money or it could be other flip it around where maybe you have an excellent momentum when it comes to money and abundance but you can't seem to get the relationships right because you've had um, a really bad momentum going on that subject in particular where you know you've been divorced you know everybody's cheated on you uh on and on and on that is a bad momentum that can be turned around so that's their second thing and then the third factor is going to be how do you feel right now how do you feel right now in this moment um so feeling is everything you guys you could say positive affirmations all day every day but it's all about how you feel do you believe what you're saying when you say positive affirmations it's it's about belief so ask plus believe equals receive um, we've got to believe what we are saying because we can only manifest things that's within our personal belief system so start small that's my tip start really small uh, and collect some evidence uh, that we actually can manifest that the law of attraction does work and we're going to start doing some work on our subconscious mind we're going to start paying attention really that's how you start the work start paying attention to your thoughts and your feelings start really paying attention to your emotions because emotions in and of themselves are manifestation so i want you to really start paying attention to the thoughts that you're having how you're feeling catch yourself in these negative thoughts and ask yourself if it's really true because most of the time are these are just patterns of thinking we're thinking the same thoughts as we had the day before and the day before so nothing in our life ever changes because we never change our subconscious patterns so that's going to be how you're going to start the work start really catching yourself at step one okay and then i want you to replace any of that negative stuff that you're saying to yourself and about yourself with something that you appreciate so that is your first tip that is the work that i'm going to have you get started on today and um i hope that cleared some stuff up that point of attraction that's why everybody's like thinking the law of attraction doesn't work for me and they're comparing themselves you cannot compare yourself and your manifestations to anybody else and remember you're always manifesting every point you're either doing it deliberately or you're doing it by default so you trust me you're going to want to learn how to do this stuff deliberately because it's happening anyway and as life is much more fun when you're aware of this when you're aware of what is going on so i hope that made sense to you guys and i hope you have a wonderful day